Yeah, well, you, I reckon you jumped the gun there, Brad, because we, we've hit it, and that is a marvel. Yeah. But do we know, how? when will we know whether it actually shifted it enough? So it's going to take some time. So we've already, telescopes all around the world have been observing the impact. In fact, we already have images of the impact where you can see from Earth a bunch of rocks spew into space. So we obviously have more confirmation it hit. And the way we're going to measure how much we shifted is there are these two asteroids and we crash into the smaller one. So the smaller one goes around the bigger one kind of like a moon. So by measuring it all the time, we can see how much that orbit has changed. And so over the next couple of weeks, we'll get a very good pinpointing of how much that orbit has changed. That then tells us how much we've shifted it by, and now we know. Because there's a range of estimates, and that depended on the composition of the asteroid. And we saw from those images, this asteroid was more kind of like a, a loose pile of rubble. So instead of a giant rock, it was more a bunch of like, like a mud ball that's come together. And that would shift it differently than a solid rock. So we'll know that in the coming right, weeks, right. We have, and we have data already coming down of the impact as well from a follow-up satellite. Oh, fascinating stuff. I feel a bit sorry for this asteroid cruising <laughs> in the silent space quite peacefully, 11 million kilometres from any human that might... And bang! Something on its rear end, I don't know. Right. But do you reckon... When, that, when it woke you up this morning, it had no idea it. what was going to happen. I know, I know. Why didn't someone warn me? Who, who did this? Um, why Can we actually make ourselves safe from an asteroid strike, do you think? Uh, we think so. And and, and so the question and the, and the important data here will be how much should we shift it by? Because that would then tell us, do we need to do this a million kilometers away from Earth or a billion kilometers away from Earth? And that will uh -huh, then affect uh -huh. how we find the asteroids, how we search for them. So it's a really important study that we're going to learn from here. Uh, and then in a few years' time, the Europeans will launch a probe called HERA, which is actually going to land in the impact crater and kind of do forensic analysis on the crash site. My God. Now, Brad, I, I played earlier um, some footage of that spacecraft heading towards destruction on this place, and something was missing, I thought, and I thought I'd put it in. How about a little bit of music, theme music from 2001? Does this stir you? Let's have a listen. That's it, better, Brad. That's better. And then, you, and then you get the blows coming from the, you know, from the spacecraft hitting the asteroid. And you know, look, it makes for good TV, right? You know, how can you uh, imagine we're actually seeing this in real time? It's amazing what we can do in the space industry now. It is amazing. You're working in such a cool area of study. I so envy you, Brad Tucker. You're always so generous with your time. Thank you so much uh, for coming on tonight. Really appreciate it.